four wheel pop-up campers offers a few different roof rack choices for the customer. We can do Yakima tracks only, these black tracks up here. We do full length of the roof. We take usually two sets of Yakima tracks, splice them together, so you have full span of the roof. These tracks are universal, so you can put Yakima roof racks on them. You can put Thule roof racks on here, and you can also use Rhino racks. So there's different brands. Nice to have these mounted on the roof ahead of time. When we put them on here at the factory, they're warrantied against leaks. We know they're installed right. We know they're being screwed into the roof frame. Having the tracks on when you order your new camper will make it easy to add racks later if you ever want them. And we can also add a solar panel up here on the roof easily to the Yakima tracks. So that's a few different features that these offer, but this is what we call Yakima tracks only. You'll see a one piece roof. Vents are a different option, but for Yakima tracks only, it's two tracks down here. We put the mounting clips inside for the customer here so you can put your racks on without breaking any seals. If you need to add more clips, you can take the end cap off, slide them in there. We try and make them um, easy for the customer. Installed, sealed, weatherproof, watertight, ready to go. This is the second option for roof racks. If a customer wants a full roof rack system, they will order that as an option. Yakima tracks will go up on the roof installed. Then the parts and pieces that a customer can buy later or they can buy it now as an option. The landing pads, which is Yakima. We use Yakima brand racks here. Landing pad one, it's part 00221. It's these little feet here. Inside the track, there's a clips on the newer campers. If your camper is a bit older and you don't have these clips, they just slide right in the end. This end piece comes off and the clips will go in there. This landing pad here will go onto here. And then the nuts and bolts and washers and clips, Allen wrench is in here. Take these screws, put them down here, tighten them down. That'll hold that foot on. And then once the foot, the landing pad is here, your tower holder, which is actually called a tower, has a latch that you can open with their key. This piece here will flip back and open up and will attach inside of the landing pad and lock back up here. We'll show you a picture of it later, but with the key out, this flap here will fold back. It'll lock into here. This comes with a lock core. We use the Yakima SKS lock cores. We use a four pack, one lock for each tower. That part number is 07204. The towers are located here. These are the Yakima Streamline system. They're Skyline towers as part of the Streamline system. That comes in a box of, of four towers. This box is a little dusty. The part number is 8000148. Skyline towers. So your clips are installed inside the track. Landing pad goes down, tower goes on, crossbar will install inside the tower. Yakima has directions on how to install these. This tower will accept into the crossbars. Once everything's tightened up and installed, you can adjust your crossbars by loosening the nuts on your feet. So that's just a quick overview of the parts. Tracks, clips are inside, landing pad, tower, crossbar, lock cores that lock your towers, and you're ready to go. This is a complete roof. Camper's finished, ready to go out the door in a couple days. We just wanted to show you what the new style Yakima racks look like installed. Tracks, towers, locks, crossbars, roof. We have a couple vents, solar one piece aluminum skin roof, no seam, no screws, 
solar panels mounted to the Yakima tracks, and this is what your crossbars will look like if you order the full Yakima roof rack system.